pivot tables look a right mess by default, but luckily it's very easy to correct them and make them look good. And that is what this video will show you how to do. One of the key goals with the layout options and styles is that you want the data look presentable. At the moment, that is not something on screen, it's not something I would want to print out and give to somebody. It's a bit messy. If we go to the design of the pivot table, you can see straight you've got all of these options on the design tab. So I'm going to talk you through each one of these and you can see what it means. So subtotals, we could remove them. And you can just see that, that that has gone straight away. Or we can group them at the bottom. Um, or the default, which is they're grouped at the top. Grand totals, we can turn them off completely. That takes them off the bottom there. Um, we can switch them back on for columns. Now, in order to show this, if I remove profit temporarily from there, and we go back to showing shipping mode as columns and customer segments, you can now see if we, the default would be to have a grand total for consumers, for example, or corporate. And we can then just have them for the columns, for example. So that's grand totals. So I'm going to put it on for all. The layout, now, you can, the default layout is compact form. So clicking on that will effectively do nothing. Now if I move this down here and put profit back in as well, which is where we were before, we get a better view of what the different layouts look like. So if you do outline form, and what that's done is it's moved the shipping mode into a whole new column. Tabular basically shows more, yeah. And then you can repeat all item labels. Now that's particularly useful if you're linking to the pivot table again, because you'll get the fact that it's consumer and express air. And then, um, you can switch that back off again. You also have these blank row in where you can insert blank row, which can look better, look slightly neater. Um, if we go back to say uh, that kind of form, and then we might just as well put subtotals on the bottom. So this that could look uh, much better, for example. You then have these tick boxes where you can take off the headers, now, it doesn't actually move them, it just treats them as bold or not. Column headers, the same thing, whether you want them looking like a proper table. Banded rows will, will give you, make it easier if you're reading across rows, and banded columns, the same if you've got many, many columns, that can be useful. You also have all of these different styles that you can drop down on and, and instantly make it look a lot better. So we will stick with a fairly default style at the moment. Now, one thing that you definitely need to sort out is the number formatting. The best way of doing that is if you click on the actual, right click on the actual numbers and go to value field settings or even number format actually, click straight on number format. If we knock out the decimal places and put a comma there, for example, and click OK, that looks better straight away. And But it's only done it for the sales column because it will do it for each data field. And the reason for that, incidentally, is because it might be that one of the fields is a percentage or you need to show it in a completely different format. So you have that option. So number format again. We'll change it to a number, no decimal places. So there. So that is looking much better. I think I will just play around with a style and see if we can get something that looks quite nice. Something like that could go quite nice. And you can th do things like make that bold. Hope you liked the video. Don't forget you can download the spreadsheet by clicking on the link in the description below. You can play around with the pivot table or you can just use it to work back through this video and start from scratch.